Welcome to another episode of my sew and tell. Now I will admit since my last video I have I don't think I've sewn a stitch other than alterations from my husband before we went to Cornwall because we went to Cornwall for four nights and we only got back last night so um, yeah I haven't sewn a stitch. Now the plan was I took my little sewing suitcase and I'll show you. Nothing. Just the iron-on transfers are on there, and I didn't. I didn't sew a stitch. Now, uh, I had good reason. We was only there for four nights anyway. So, when you're only away for that amount of time, and it's a place that we know really well, because um, we went to St Ives in Cornwall, which is on the south coast. Well, it is the south, but not directly south it's kind of like round the side kind of thing i'll, tr I'll try and get a, a picture of where it is just in case because i do have um viewers from overseas and you might not um quite understand where the location is so i'll try and get a map on i'll find one for you so that's as far as it goes but i'll definitely have some sewing to show you before this video is over and there is some craft related things going on so i've actually had to write some notes because i've got things i want to show you and i didn't want to miss things out so now where did we start where did i start bear with me let's turn the page so ah right okay so i'm going to share some of my holiday photographs with you now i didn't take many photographs at all and i've done a few little snippets of video and things but i didn't do much at all because i was just enjoying myself and my family and that's the way it happened now the first photographs i took when i was down there we went and got a bite to eat because we basically we got there at, we got up at four o'clock in the morning left at half five 20 to six something like that and then we we went drove down it's quite a drive had a little stop off had a mcdonald's breakfast and got there and we were there 11 o'clock in the morning and we wasn't going to get our cottage till five o'clock in the evening and it's rather late isn't it so we went and had a bite to eat because it it wasn't it was quite windy when we got down there and there was a little bit of a chill in the air so we we didn't really want to stand out well it wasn't so much the cold it was more the breeze and we didn't really feel like eating outside so we went and found somewhere to eat and a place called the beer and bird now I took some photographs of the toilet doors because I was pretty impressed now I have eaten there before and uh, but I'll, I'll pop those photographs on I found it quite funny because if you've watched my channel before I have mentioned I sometimes go in the wrong toilets I've done it a number of times and I just post these photographs on social media they're the only ones I've posted um from the holiday on social media since I've been away and uh, I just thought they were rather funny and I don't think I'd get the wrong toilet if all the toilets were like that and obviously as a chicken keeper I was pretty impressed by seeing these chickens on the on the doors and things so that was funny so I hope you've seen those I hope those popped up and I've got everything right then I took um it's a 17 second video of the harbour right so i'm going to send you over to that video now So we hope you've enjoyed seeing the harbour. Now, it's not the only beach area in that in St Ives. There's quite a number of beaches to choose from, but that's the harbour one. Now, um, the room, um, that was the room, the cottage we were staying in, um, they were meant to let us have the room at five. Now, I'm going to show you a photograph of what it was like at quarter to six. And I'll pop that photograph on now. And that is all the cleanest things outside of there. So we, we didn't get the room until six o'clock. So we was a little bit fed up about that, actually. So then the next photograph we take, we, take, uh, we took was of our youngest son, Jack. 
and it's kind of like a recreation photograph there's a cottage called Jack down there and we've had a fo we've taken photographs of Jack before in front of this cottage and uh, we had another one so I can't I I'd have to have a dig around I don't know if I how easy it'd be fine to find the other photographs we've taken but I'll put the one that we took on this holiday of Jack standing next to the sign Jack's now he used to be able to stand underneath the sign but now he's there he's like outside like that you know it's to the side of him now so he's he's growing up isn't he? he's 14 so he's getting rather big so then the next photographs we took my husband actually took them with my phone of me and uh and they're outside a poppy to fry shop now if you've watched my channel before i've gone on and on about poppy before i've, I've shopped with poppy and i had poppy's book for a long time and then she did an embroidery club she's done three embroidery clubs they're not they don't go on all the time but uh i've done all three and uh yes yeah, so i had a photograph and um standing outside of the shop and my husband took a couple of me with my beach bag and i turned it round to one side have i got it in here and i've got it let me grab it I've used it today actually. I'm still in um, holiday mood. Uh, as you probably saw, I've got my shorts on. I've got my Comic Relief t shirt on with my seagulls look and Nemo and Dory. And I've actually took my beach bag out today uh, and used it as a handbag. So that's um, basically we made this bag in po Poppy's last club. It was supposed to be, so I made the beach bag as Poppy wanted us to. And it was supposed to have a, this boy on it. And Poppy did um, free motion wording around on, on top of the boy. But I kind of put my own spin on it. Um, I took my inspiration from a seagull that Mandy Shaw does, Mandy Shaw seagull, and I did some writing round the outside um, in like a light thread. And then I went, I did my own picture. I drew out a picture and then I did my own picture on the back. And this was mine, um, my own design. So uh, that, that was the bag I was holding in the photograph. But I didn't go in the shop um, at that time because I got all my family with me and I just wanted to go in there in peace. So I did go back in there a couple of times after. But I will admit, I didn't buy anything. I think I was a little bit rushed both times I went in there. And there's just so much to look at. And I'm really sorry I didn't have to take any footage inside the shop. But actually the person, a lady on the first time I went in there, the lady that was on the desk, I got chatting to her and she actually took my photograph um, with my bag in the corner. So, but I don't think I held it out. I think I just kind of stood there. I, actually, it caught me off guard a little bit because I'd been, I'd been down the beach sunbathing and I felt in a bit of a mess and everything. And then she wanted to take my picture and I've not actually seen that photo. So I don't, I don't know what it's like. It might be okay, you know, I don't know, but, <laughs> but I haven't seen it anywhere as of yet. So the next photograph um, was, it was a day at the beach. Oh yeah, it was quite a dull day and we were play we played games and I took some photographs. Um, I'm not in any of the photographs because I took the photographs. So there's ones of my husband and my eldest son playing um, bat and ball. I'd already played it at this point. And there's a photograph of my husband, quite an action shot. And there's a photograph of my eldest son um, like hitting it back to dad you know my husband uh, and he's my son's girlfriend he's actually reading it she's got, I didn't realize yeah I think I think I did it on purpose tried to get them both in shot when I took those photographs and then I've got a bit of video what happens is we're playing frisbee we love playing frisbee on the beach and Jack and I that my youngest son um we'd been playing with the frisbee quite happily and then when other people join in they're just a bit too and it basically ended up in the sea and Chris went in to get it and I've just got a little bit of footage of him coming out so I'll just send you over to that video no. He's had a nice dip in the sea 
So I hope you've seen that. Now, after I went back to get ready, because we had a meal plan that evening that was booked for um, quarter to six, um, I went back and had a shower and things. So I left my husband down there and uh, and basically they threw the um, the frisbee a bit too hard and he had to go even hard in the sea even further and it was freezing and he didn't have swimming shorts he didn't have swimwear on and he and he came back I was in a shower and he came back and he was soaked up, up to here so that that was quite funny but I, I got I didn't see it I missed it so then um on that beach actually I took some photographs of my makes on the sand which I'll pop some photographs on because I just thought oh they'll look nice but I, that wasn't a really sunny day that day I took all those photographs uh, then the next day we went to the harbour beach because that was a different beach we went to the harbour beach and it was sunny and I, and I took some photographs there and I've put a, a note of mother Oh, right. Yes. I've got a video, a very small video of where I'm sitting down and I was filming a seagull mother and its baby. So I'll send you over to that little tiny snippet now. So I hope you've liked seeing that. So now, next uh, photographs. My husband, excuse, there's an ambulance right out there. I wanted to film this this morning, actually, but the noise was just crazy. My neighbour's been still building those garden rooms in his garden. There's still the work going on over the school, but I don't know if that was too bad. But my next door neighbour, but one, he's got all conifers and he's having them knocked down, well, cut down. And they had a massive shredder out the front, shredding them. And it was just, honestly, I've got back from holiday and I just thought, oh gosh, I've had to take painkillers from my head. It's been awful. And uh, I actually said to my husband, oh gosh, I'm going to go shopping and go to get some Morrisons and things. She wants to come get away from this noise. And by the time we got out the door, they'd gone. And then we could see them, the shredder down by the shop and then by the time we came back they were back so it's bit, been a bit of a nightmare but yeah never mind but we stayed out for a bit we got uh, our youngest son went back to school today he's gone into year 10 um eldest has gone back to work today but doesn't come out till half seven he starts back at college this week so he's going to be doing 20 hours work and in the coffee shop and he's rest of his time at college and my middle son he starts college the one I've been home educating for four years he's starting college next week so that's all exciting so that's going to be very exciting isn't it so anyway where are we so my husband and I we was actually on our own at this point so we had an ice cream on our own so when I took some photographs of them Sometimes when you're taking photographs, you can't quite see how good the picture's going to be. But actually, when I've looked back at them, they're quite good. I really like how um, the background is all faded out and then the ice creams are in focus. So I took some photographs of those. Um, I think I've got a photograph of my middle son. I think he's sitting on a deck chair on the beach, the harbour beach. Uh, then... Uh, photos of my husband and I outside the cottage, right? Um, our eldest son took a photograph of us. He stood in the cottage doorway and he took a photograph of us before we went out for the evening. And I had, I think one shot I had no sunglasses and the next one I put sunglasses on. And I'm not in anything um, homemade at that point. I was in... Um, a dress, uh, a, like um, a strappy dress from prettylittlething.com. They they very um, figure hugging kind of things. They they cater for different sizes, got plus sizes. But if you're especially slim, and you do like to you know have some figure hugging things, pretty little thing, they're pretty good actually for that kind of thing. So uh, then there's um, a photograph of. Oh two, oh, two photographs that I took 
of the living area in the cottage. Now that was on the first floor. So the kitchen dining was the ground floor with a shower and toilet. The next floor had the living area, which I'll show you the photographs of in, in, while I'm talking to you. And one was out the window. So you can kind of see that's where my husband and I had that photograph taken. But it looks a little bit prettier because the photograph we're in, you can see the bins. But in this photograph, you can't see the bins. And um, and I took, what else did I take for it? Oh yeah, so then the uh, that was the living area. And then behind that living area was um, a bedroom with two beds. That's where the our two youngest boys were staying in there together. I had a dressing table and a wardrobe, quite spacious. And there was a toilet and a sink on that floor as well, which that was pretty good. It was really chuffed. Then on the next floor up, there was a bedroom where my um, where our eighteen year old and his um, girlfriend um, stayed in, and we had a toilet and sink next to their room, and then our room we had a dressing table, double bed, and there was also a shower over a bath and a sink in there which was great so it was really good accommodation actually but we was only there for four nights if we'd have stayed there for a week my husband said it would have been really expensive but it was great because we only did the four nights it made it more affordable it was only that's all we could book anyway so that was the only place that was available and that's why um our youngest son has gone back to school a day late um, because he should have gone back yesterday, but we were travelling yesterday, so that was unfortunate. Anyway, so, and I took some photographs. There was loads of artwork in this cottage, and the plan was to take photographs of all the artwork, but I only got two photographs, and that was purely because I was going to take them when we, after we got back the, the car, and load, we was going to load up the car, but the cleaners came in, and I was a bit annoyed. The cleaners were there, bang on time at 10 o'clock but they could have give us an extra hour couldn't they as we were waiting an hour to get the cottage which I thought was a little bit unfair really so um we had another another beach day and what be and we was on the beach at the one we were playing the games on on that that day where I had my husband coming out of the sea we went back on that beach and Jack was building sandcastles, that was quite nice. But what I found really strange is he went up with that. This, this is what happened when you send men, sorry men, if, if any men watch my channel, to do things. Sent them off to get a bucket and spade and they come back with just a bucket and he's there making sandcastles with his hands. And my husband, and I said to my husband, why, I said, why didn't you get him a spade? He said he didn't want one. And I said, but I said, why don't you just persuade him to have a spade because it would be a lot easier. He's like, well, he said he didn't want one. So I was like, okay. So yeah, he made, he made sandcastles with his hands, his bare hands, bless him. He mixed all the wet sand. He was getting in a right mess. But there you go. Anyway, the lovely thing is now, this back to craft, there is a craft shop in Cornwall now on Four Street on Instant Ives, which I've been going for years. I've been going to since 2003 and I've never known a craft shop where you can buy craft supplies. I think sea salt might sell fabric, but that's about it. But this is full of yarn and kits. And so if you didn't take a craft project down with you, you could get something down there which is great and i got chatting with one of the owners and um i haven't got a photograph of the shop outside whether i can get one online i don't know but i took some photographs inside so i took two upstairs from either end of the shop so i'll pop those on for you to look at and and I took a photograph while I was standing on the stairs looking down the stairs I think you can see my foot in that photograph actually on a previous video I was saying that um so when I put photographs on the screen it misses the top and bottom off but I've managed to readjust them now so you get to see the whole photograph now so that's good isn't it and I took a photograph from the back of the shop of the downstairs so I'll show you that I think I took two actually one kind of at the back and one standing a bit forward so I hope you like seeing that so if you're in St Ives take a look at that right um photos Ah, a video. Now I've got a video and now this is of the long beach that 
we didn't spend any time sitting on this beach, but we did walk along it and walk back along it. But this was the beach that was closest to our cottage. They're all pretty close anyway, but this one was the closest. And I took a video of it, but it's like in e early evening and it was our last night. So I'll pop that video on now. So I hope you've liked seeing that and I've, we took some photographs, some family photographs. So there's some with um, the extra girl in the photograph is my eldest son's girlfriend and obviously the three boys are my husband's and my, uh, our son's basically. So uh, we had a family photograph and it was a bit uh, nip, well, it was a bit windy up there. So we all kind of wrapped up a bit. It was our final evening. You know what it's like, you get to the end of your trip and you think, gosh, we'd better take some photographs and we think we should have done this when the sun was shining but there you go uh, then I did a little bit more video as we walked round I did a bit of video um round the other side of the hill so we walked round this hill and this is a video of the other side and and there's like a bit of a dog beach down there so I'll pop that video on now So I hope you like seeing that. Then uh, there was a re we did a recreation photograph. Now I <laughs> I was talking to my husband and the whole family about this photograph I had taken years ago with the boys in this spot, right? And I'll pop the photograph in this spot, but the one that we've had this year, and I hated it. And it's because my hair was tied back. But, because, you know, because it's windy, but, you know, ev everyone's got all these little stray little hairs, haven't they? So all these were like blowing in the wind. So I had some words or gummage kind of thing going on and I really didn't like the photograph. But my husband said, just have another photograph. So we've had a new one, a new updated photograph of me and the boys. And look how big they look next to me now they just well, I am sitting on the wall I kind of sat my bottom on the wall and uh, and the and I think Jack did but Cameron and Declan stood up so that it makes them look even bigger doesn't it so uh, then we walked around to the pier now unfortunately I didn't take any pictures or footage in the day but it got quite dark by this point but I've got a video of me in the middle of the pier just showing the site so I'll put that video in now So I hope you like seeing that. Now, and that, and that's basically, oh, is that it? No, I've got one final photograph. Now this photograph, it's not a good one for me. Now we went to the arcade on the day we were leaving and because we promised the boys we'd go and went in there, had a fabulous time. And the only thing I wanted to go on was the dance machine. It's basically a machine that plays music. Two people can go on it at the same time. And the, the arrows light up and you have to basically dance in time and kind of thing. And my husband and I go on it every time. And we always put on the song Cotton Eye Joe. Uh, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe, that song. And we always, it's a bit of a tradition, right? So it's basically, the machine is in the arcade graveyard. I'll put a photograph on and I was really sad about it. There it is, my favourite machine. And my husband said, if we win the lottery, which is no chance of that because we don't do the lottery, he said, he'll, he'll buy me one. Um, he said, and we'll, and we'll have one. I'll have my own one. And I've had a look at them. You can buy them. They're about £4,000 right so i think even a second hand one would be expensive and but it would have to have cotton eye job on it i think it's the early 2000 machine it is so yeah it's the 
dance mix something something two edition i think there's been i think it's the third one but it's called two but yeah but never mind <laughs> but yeah but um yeah it's in the the graveyard so i was a bit sad about that now my next photograph it's not cornwall it's this morning and it's jack's back to school photograph so here he is looking all grown up going into year 10 so that means he's only got one more year at this school after this year and then it would be your college years or apprenticeships whatever they go on to do so that is all of that done at the moment now back to a bit of sewing now i did have an issue right my vogue outfit i was so proud i put on my vogue outfit right all ready to go and something happened i did my zip up now i will admit when i made these shorts i didn't know for sure if there was going to be something i was going to wear because this was my first twirl but they were too big but i made more adjustments again and i used a, a second hand zip well my auntie linda gave me loads of zips ages ago if you've watched my channel a long time you'll remember my auntie linda gave me loads and loads of zips and I used one of those zips and basically I'd done it up right and it undone but the zipper pull was still at the top right it kind of do you know when a zip comes apart like that I've got it all the way up and look oh, loads of teeth have dropped off it and I couldn't pull it down I thought my husband was gonna have to cut me out of them right which was a bit I was a bit miffed about but we managed to get it undone and I got them off. So what, I don't know whether to try and save this pair by unpicking the waistband and putting a new zip in, but I might just make another pair. I, I might just do that. Obviously it's the, the summer's over now, so I've got plenty of time. But um, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll make another pair. And while I'm getting familiar with how I made them, maybe I'll unpick these and sort these out. Maybe that's what I could do. But yes, I was a bit sad about that. So I did end up wearing my Vogue recreation vest um, with another pair of shorts, right, in this fabric. But, right. I was wearing it. Nothing has happened to it, don't worry. And I am pleased with it. But all of a sudden, something sprung to mind, right? And I thought, I've made myself a Where's Wally top, haven't I? Uh, do you know who Where's Wally is now? I'm going to put a photograph of Where's Wally. I think there's books. And, and basically, it's like a game and you have to find it's what wears while you find him in a massive picture and he's always wearing one of these tops and i thought do i look less vogue <laughs> and more wears Wally? so yeah but i am going to wear it still and uh is that it so so far that is all i've got to show you but I oh, no it isn't i'll show you what i bought at the craft shop bear with me now i'm desperate to show you these because i wanted to open them and i've had a delivery um it's arrived today i'm going to be doing poppy to fry's embroidery club her autumn one and the i had the kit version and the supplies have arrived so i might get that package and show you but this is what i bought at the craft tree now i think what i might be making with these it's maybe some knitted things for Luna or one of my Luna animals, you know, friends. Um, or it might be for another doll. But what it is, it's four ply. So it's really good. I don't have a lot of... I don't think I've got any four ply, actually. I've got loads of double knit and I've got thicker yarn. But I just never seem to have four ply. But I've got some in this gorgeous pink colour. So I'm going to be knitting something nice. And I've got a lot of embroidery to do now. And I treated myself to this. Now it was... I've seen these before. And in all honesty, I thought they're too expensive. And the reason I didn't buy them directly from Toft. Because I thought they was expensive. And I've had to pay delivery. Well... I've paid an expensive price, 
but I haven't had to pay delivery and it is this lovely tin now this is probably going to be worth more money keeping it in the tin and never opening it right and keeping it for years to come but who wants to do that and it's the basically crochet and mackerel and it's that mackerel on there look and what what it is the reason i looked at these before was because you know i knitted stan the fisherman he wasn't meant to be a fisherman but i called him a fisherman and i crocheted a little um sardine for him and a lemon wow i'd like to do a little mackerel as well and i've been itching to crochet again i've been itching to knit and crochet again but is it this time of year the autumn is on its way and you get the bug don't you to do some yarny crafts but obviously i've got my embroidery to catch up on and i've got these that i've got to stitch the letters down that i've done just before i went away so that's what i've got going on at the moment i don't know what my next dressmaking thing is going to be yet I think I just want to catch up on my Mandy Shaw things and obviously I've got my video to sort out and everything. So I really hope you've liked me sharing my St Ives holiday with you and I'll basically I'll come back in this video when I've got basically something crafty to show you, something I've stitched or whatever. So thank you so much for joining me so far and I'll see you in the next bit. Bye! right welcome back it's still friday so you've seen a little bit of footage of me doing a blanket stitch on my sewing machine and i was stitching on the d now actually i don't know what um size stitch i used on my the first ones on a and b i can't quite remember but i used um a three and a half um what, if, is it mil is it i don't know i don't know what they're measuring but 3.5 width 3.5 length and i really like how it's turned out so i'll just show you that now so yeah that's come out rather nice now this will have to be backed it's kind of it's a binding my first two i did a separate binding and that's not how mandy wants you to do it she wants you to put a back in on and then fold it over which i've actually done on my third one I've done the C, so I've done the blanket stitching on here and I've done, the only thing I've done different to what Mandy wants you to do is I've machined my edge down, but I'm, I'm not entirely happy with it really. It just doesn't. I did put a bit of glue on it, right, to keep, stick it down before I stitched it and it doesn't look perfect. It's kind of gone a bit funny there. Yeah, it's not to the, I've got threads here that I haven't cut, but yeah. So at the back, it looks plain look, but it's not to my standards really of, I, I personally like doing separate bindings and I suppose it probably would have looked better if I'd have hand stitched it down, but I don't know where I've just, I've, I've, um, I've machined the other two down so it just wouldn't look right now if I hand stitched all the others but that's where I'm at with it anyway so I've still got the red work to do on the, the newest ones I've had through and do the applique letters but I still had a bit of work to do on these so that's as far as I've got so now I've got to do a few more hand stitching um like it's like a running stitch around the letter to finish this and then i've just got to repeat what i've done to this one and do the same with that so i'm starting to catch up with those so i am pro prioritizing those at the moment and that's what i've got out on here so um i'm not going to be starting another project 
um, that's sewing related while those are going on. So what I'm going to, the reason I've decided to finalise this video is because I was up to about 31 minutes anyway and I've got stuff to show you and I'm no doubt it will, that will take up the time. So what I wanted to do is I want to open this and I didn't open it. So that was the one thing just to show you inside of it. So, ooh. That's exciting, isn't it? I can see a ball of yarn and uh, Toft, it's all alpaca yarn. It used to be from just their own alpacas, but over time they've um, they've started using other people's alpacas. And I think they, um, they, they used to be all natural colours initially, uh, but now they actually do dye some. I think they needed to dye some really so people had more choices. So that's a grey. And a bit of black. And oh, it actually says steel. It's another grey. It's like a dark grey. Oh, actually, oh, silver. That's called silver and that's called steel. Those are the colours. And they're double knit. I'm guessing that's just black double knit. And inside, if you can see, that's the pattern. So I'm going to have to sort my own hook, but I've got quite a number of hooks. I actually, um, I, I've got a number of sizes of hooks and then I won some because my makes was uh, in a crochet magazine, which was quite nice. And I won a um, whole set of crochet hooks. It's quite nice. So if I've got, say I was using a three and a half with a project and I wanted to start another with a three and a half, it's nice that I've got duplicates of some of them. So that is that. So, um... I am quite eager to do that. I might put, I'm tempted to put red work aside and do this. So I might do that. So it's either going to be red work while I'm sitting watching telly or it's going to be that. I'm not quite sure. Oh, and another reason why I'm going to finalise the video now as well. Um, I'm going to a wedding tomorrow. So yeah, I'm just going to be quite busy this weekend. So I just think I'm not, I might not get a lot of sewing or filming done and things. So anyway, this is my poppy box. Now, I don't know how much of this I'm going to show you. Um, I say I'll just open the package. I might have to cut a bit out. Oh, I've got a paper cut now and some cardboard. Right. Oh, how annoying. It says Autumn Embroidery Club Squash and Squeeze Embroidered Picture. So I'm guessing I'm going to do a pumpkin picture. That's what that suggests to me. Do you recognise the badge look? This says Autumn Embroidery Club practice pieces. I don't think I've ever used my practice pieces from previous clubs. I've just kept them for my stash. Autumn Embroidery Club squash and squeeze embroidered pictures. So those are the bits we're going to need for that. Um, Flutterby pencil roll, which that suggests to me that's going to be butterflies on a pencil roll or moths maybe there there are some pictures of some of, of sneaky peeks of the some of the projects we're going to be doing but we haven't got pictures of all of them uh, this is a catch a falling leaf notebook cover those are the bits for that And this is a pin back badge cards. And that's what's in there. This is, it says, ooh, ah, zip pocket handbag. Now I remember seeing a picture of this. It's basically a handbag and it's got all fireworks all over it. So I have got a list somewhere of all the colour threads that I need, but I don't know where it is. I'll have to have a look for it. And this is the final one. This is 12 Days of Christmas Table Runner. So that is all very exciting, isn't it? So, but that's not going to start till later this month, late September, from what I remember. Right, oh, something funny happened yesterday. Oh gosh, 
it just reminded me I'd left my bag. I'll just pop this down here. Hopefully it doesn't fall out. But I'd left this bag on my chair. This is what reminded me. Because I went shopping with this yesterday and I spotted this. Crispy creme, right? Or cream, however you say it. Do you say crispy? I think it's crispy cream. They, it's a bra, um, a chain that sells donuts, and we've got one in our town, and it's next door to a Costa. Well, we were a little bit naughty. We bought donuts. We picked Jack up from school, his first day back at school, my husband and I. We went to Krispy Kreme. We got a pack of three donuts, and we got a free one, which was nice. And then we went to Costa, and it's like an inner shopping centre, but the seating outside the Costa, so you kind of feel like you're outside, but you're not. You're inside. We sat outside and we uh and we did buy coffees. We bought three coffees from Costa, but we sat and ate our donuts, which you know it's frowned upon, isn't it? But we did buy coffees from them. Um but uh we got caught not caught by the Costa people, but there was a film crew in there, um, with like you know, filming these guys talking. I don't know if it was for the news or what it was for, I'm not sure. But we ended up being in shot. The cameraman was aiming right at us. And this box was on the table and I was going... I try, trying to shove it to the side because I thought we're going to get caught, aren't we? Eating uh, Krispy Kreme donuts uh, in a, you know, a Costa seating. <laughs> but never mind. So I don't know where that footage is going to be. Um, but and hopefully I wasn't doing anything embarrassing, like you know, licking my li licking my lips or something, you know, doing something that doesn't look great on film. Cause it didn't you know? I don't know if I noticed all the time. And uh, so, but anyway, so that is the poppy thing that is up and coming. Now, I wasn't sure whether to share this right because. I'm thinking of making something and I'm thinking of gifting it. And the person who I'm thinking of gifting it to is a family member who watches my channel, right? And the thing is, I might make it and I might not be able to part with it, right? I don't know. I'm just going to see. But I ordered a pattern from, um, Cre uh, I always say this, Sewing Street, right? And it's to make a doll. Polly, Polly Dolly Doodah, right? And this is the pattern. I've not got the pattern out yet, but I ordered it quite some time ago, but it only arrived the day I was going into Cornwall. So then, I'm, you know, and I didn't share it or anything. I didn't even take it out of the bedroom because I opened it in there. But before I got the pattern, because I bought it through Sewing Street, you got an extra pattern. It's a knitting pattern for a cardigan. So that is the card. Oh, look, actually, my uh, my Mandy Shaw embroidery pieces are with this. They shouldn't be with that. Let's check there's nothing else there. No. So that's the knitting pattern. So that is that. Now, you didn't get the kit through Seven Street, but you could order the kit through the designer's website. And I ordered it, you know, the same day I ordered the pattern. And it's come today. Right. It's arrived. And But I know um, Cheryl has emailed me to say there's no mohair in it. I think the mohair is yarn and you use it for the hair. Basically, you crochet the hair and then you sew it on from what, from what I gather. So this is what comes in the kit. Right. A big bag of toy filling. I want to make sure I don't lose these. Some polyester wadding. I'm not quite sure what that's for. Oh my goodness. I don't think I want to to part with this. Oh, there's shoes. There's actually little shoes. Oh. Obviously, I've had three boys, so these little girly shoes bring me much joy. <laughs> right. I I'm going to have to part with that. I've got to, right. 
some actual baby socks. Oh, is she like baby size? Oh, have they got like an age on them? Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, it says in here, here mohair to follow. Here are the supplies to make her dress. There's an elastic, uh, I wonder if those are to make pants, they might be, it does look like that kind of thing. I think she's got a petticoat, I think that's what that is for to make a petticoat. What it is, I love making toys. I think what it is, I like, I obviously love dressmaking and toy making and I love making teeny tiny clothes. It's just so much fun. Right, there's a few supplies in here. Now, I think the elastic band you put right to get the shaping on the head and I think you leave it on. I think from what I remember is you, to make the head, you have like these oval kind of shapes that you sew together and stuff it. Then you put like elastic band on it to get the shaping and things. And then you do things with these. And then I think you have to put like um, a knit fabric over the top of it that covers it all from what I remember. But here, and there's a doll needle in there. There's a few bits and bobs, obviously. And until I make her, I'm not going to really know. I think that's the skin. I think I went for the tan, the sun tan look. Not as tan as me look. I have been to Cornwall and I was sunning myself whenever I could. A bit of a sun worshipper. I don't like really like the sun that much at home because it's really hot in the house. But when, that, when I'm out and about, it's lovely. And he says, thank you for your purchase and welcome to my Polly Dolly Doodah family. I hope you enjoyed making, make, enjoy making, ugh, hope you enjoy your doll making venture. And I will look forward to seeing your creations on my Facebook page. There's a Facebook page and there's a card showing you because you could make dollies with different colour hair and different colour skin those are the different samples that's useful isn't it so i don't know this would make a nice christmas gift so maybe this might be coming before christmas but now i've had all these bits um i can put the pattern in now so it might be worth because I've got the poppy thing coming up um, at the later this month, it might be worth thinking about doing this doll. Because I'm guessing, but it depends how, how long the poppy thing goes on for. It might be like six weeks. So if it starts in the September, it's going to run all through October and a little into November and we're getting quite close to Christmas then aren't we and maybe I want to be doing Christmas crafting so maybe this is something I think about soon so mackerel and Mandy Shaw so yeah but do you know what things can change you know if I get another idea oh actually I'm wearing see what I'm saying about this neck this was the neck I redone twice and now I think if I put a, a bra that give me a bit of oomph it might pull it out a bit this is one of my sunny dresses my sunny i was calling it sunny day sunny dress by oh hang on it's still there my battery went low then so i don't know if that cut out a little bit then um sunny dress by the friday pattern company and this is one of the four i've made and i made two in this fabric but one, I made the straight hem one and I made it a bit short. So I basically, I remade it again and I did the, um, that hem look that comes up here like that. And, uh, yeah, I've been a bit more happy with this one. Apart from the neck, it looks a bit, it's going a bit loose. I think I needed 
to probably tug on this. What it is, I didn't sew this. That's why, do you know, when I sewed my Vogue vest, I, I did it and then sewed the shoulder. I did this in the round. And do you know what? I've had really good... This is the first fail I've had with all the jersey things I've done. The, even though I've made this dress four times. Um, this is the only one I've just, I don't know, it must have been this fabric, I don't know, but I didn't, I've already cut the neck off once and done it again, and then I wanted to wear it, so I've just left it, but yeah, it's not too bad. I normally wear a necklace with it, uh, one of my Pandora ones has got all things hanging off it, and when I wear that, it kind of sits there, and then you don't, can't see that little ripple then, it's strange, isn't it, but I love this pattern, it's just really, com it's like wearing secret pajamas is that term that people use so um so yeah i think that's it for now um i'm looking i've i know i've got a cut bits out but that was filming for 18 minutes then so so thank you so much for joining me for this week of so and tell i'm really sorry that it was a lot more of personal things going on wasn't it with my holiday and everything but i hope you understand um yeah i just haven't had a lot of time to sew and the things i was sewing i was doing a lot of alterations and things and they're, they're just not all that exciting so i hope you saw something of interest and uh yeah maybe you might like poly dolly doodah and have a look there is a facebook group so you could have a look at everyone's beautiful dolls and different versions of them if doll making um interests you so so thank you so much for joining me this time and i'm hoping to get to you next week so i'll see you next week bye Sometimes it's